Being the oldest commercial art gallery in Africa means that you are doing something right. The Everard Reed Gallery is more than a hundred years old. That means the leadership has constantly been able to be current and relevant. It's a tough world out there in the art industry. So today we're talking about what makes a good art gallery owner and how you become one. Mark, yeah. <laughs> how do you start? Well, I started, uh, I suppose one could say, almost a press gang, uh, that old term. Um, I was a biologist uh, studying, actually, fish in Okavango and um, ran out of money and um, came back with my old Land Rover. It took me about three days to get here and asked my dad for a job to see if I could have a bit of money. And, uh, you know, people were tougher on, certainly he was tougher on me than I am on my kids, um, and he said, well, I can't see why I should give you any money. You better work here. And so take a sabbatical. And this was in 79. And uh, so I did. I had a sabbatical from my academic studies. And, uh, and that fabulous Mark Twain saying of um, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you realized why you were born. <laughs> Because after a very short time, I, this fire lit in me about the business and, and the art world. Why? I just loved it. I loved dealing with, with works of art. I loved dealing with the people who wanted to collect them. And um, people don't come into an art gallery when you're feeling down and depressed. You generally want to look around at beautiful things expensive beautiful things when you're feeling pretty upbeat about things and feeling ambitious. We have a, a happy house here and uh, when people come in they don't get some oily salesman trying to flog them a work of art. In fact we're on, completely on the other side. We let people wander around. Uh, we, we're at hand if they need information. But it's, it's not trying to shovel art down the throat of every un, you know, sort of unsuspecting member of the public when they come in here. We, we're, in, in, in some ways, I think an institution that's edging towards being a non-commercial gallery. We spend a lot of time uh, with, with learners, with students, uh, trying to uplift young artists who couldn't possibly make us any money. But it's very important to be part of that in a country such as ours. And how successful is South Africa on the international stage? I think we, we punch way above our weight division. Um, and, and it's one of the few areas that's in South Africa which has emerged in the last, uh, the tough last 15 years, pretty much unscathed. The world is still fascinated with South African art. I think a lot of that's due to uh, the shifting sands that we we all stand on here. You and I wake up every morning, every other South African does, and the country has subtly changed during the night. It never settles down. I could do with a bit of boredom. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit tired of being terrified by the change the whole time, but it's certainly this, this uh, playing field upon which artists comment is this never-ending, bubbling cauldron of human emotions and, and stresses, um, and that causes artists to comment very widely and very deeply and it really does impact on the validity of contemporary art in South Africa. They have something to say. How do you become a successful art gallery owner? I mean, how do you monetize it? What do you look for? Where the, the best margin is made? Well, first of all, one's got to decide whether or not Everett Reed is a successful art gallery because there are very, various ways of of, of measuring what is success. But from my point of view, um, it's a lack of smugness. I get so tired of, of uh, going into galleries and, and hearing the, the haughtiness of, of people who, yeah. I really don't know. I, certainly anyone who works here, you yeah, they look at you as you're some broken insect who's <laughs> walked in. But uh, certainly, Everett Reed is about down-to-earth people who, who don't see themselves any more important than people who grow carrots or dentists. Or we have a shop. Okay, it's a bit of a grand shop, but it's a shop. Beautiful. And we try and, and show the best things we can, and we work very hard. Uh, we're loyal to each other, and we've built up a, a, a team that 
almost never changes over the years to so our clients. It's a bit of a club, really, um, rather, than, rather than a business that's trying to maximize the return for shareholders.